All right, today we are working on an overheating boat. This is a Volvo Penta 5.7 GXI. So when these engines overheat, oftentimes it's just this cap not being tight enough. Uh, this can introduce air down into your impeller. This is the, the raw water pump that's inside this housing here. And it pumps the water through the engine up into here. This is your thermostat housing. I'm replacing the thermostat because it looks like it's the thermostat on this. But uh, these Volvo Pentas have quite a few things that can cause them to overheat. And so I will put the link to the manual that you use to diagnose the problem on these engines. Uh, but today we're just gonna be replacing the thermostat on this boat. So this is the thermostat housing here. You have the housing here. You have your temp sensor right here. This uh, tells the computer that the engine's too hot and it will actually cut power. So if you have to get home, uh, you can monitor the temp manually and undo this guy. Sometimes these are faulty and your engine's not actually overheating. And in that case, you just unplug it and uh, you're good to go. So the way I diagnose the impeller is I generally just touch it when the boat is running. And if it's cool, I know that it's you know pumping water through. If it's warm, that's a bad sign and you can replace it. Um, next up, you can touch the top of, uh, of this. If it's burning you, uh, there's a good chance your thermostat isn't opening up. And so that's what's going on here. And that's sort of a um, rough way to diagnose it. Uh, the next thing that can cause overheating on these guys is an air leak. We just talked about that in the beginning of the video. And then of course, uh, the risers, these can get blocked. Your water flows out there. If those are blocked, water's not flowing through the engine. Uh, and that can be causing it to overheat as well. I'm gonna wanna scrape off the old gasket with this. All right, so the thermostat housing is here. This is our thermostat. It goes in like this. Okay, so the thermostat housing is in. There's a locking ring here. It's just a rubber ring. And we just push that in into place and it will keep our thermostat locked in. Very easy to put that in place. See, our thermostat is now locked in there. Um, now this is just a bare housing. You notice the temp sensor is not on the front and these other holes are open. So we have to uh, put those guys on there. One of those is a bolt hole, of course. The other one is uh, this water passageway. So let's go ahead and install this guy. All right, everything is on, in place. All the hoses are in place, so we're gonna go ahead and start it and see what happens. 